What's up, YouTube? It's Mike Shea here. We're going to now dive into the Flash trailer that was premiered at DC Fandom over the weekend. I'm going to watch this for the first time. Uh, we got about, a, about two minutes. So now keep in mind, this movie just finished filming like a week ago. So I'm not expecting a whole lot in this trailer. Uh, this is probably stuff that they just got done shooting early on. And this is what they had done. Um, so I don't have very high expectations. I think we'll probably just kind of see some some Barry Allen. And I doubt we're going to see any Michael Keaton. If anything, it might be um, like, a, like a hand or something. I don't think we're actually going to see a whole lot of him in this. I doubt he'll be very prominent. They're probably waiting for the big proper trailer to come but i mean you know i've been surprised before so let's uh let's watch this thing greetings dc fandom and domers oh ezra miller here hi ezra Live from the set of the flash it looks like this i didn't know this was going to be uh one of these things We're very excited to show you the movie that is a that is a look ezra we can't yet because we're still making it we wanted to show you a teaser but we can't because we don't have enough material to make a teaser yet. We, we can't make a trailer. Uh, but we do have this small sneak peek that my maestro Andy and I have put together that we really hope you'll enjoy. And I will see you in theaters later next year. Or more importantly, you will see me. Interesting. Tell me something. You can go anywhere you want. Is that Keaton? Are they at Wayne Manor? Oh, that's a nice look. Why do you want to stay? I'd just like to say this one. You changed the future, and you changed the past. Now the ring. Yo, I like that look. Show me. Show me. You in? Ah! Yes. Yes. Oh, you bitch. Oh. <laughs> in production. Okay. Okay. Ah. Oh. Okay. Got some stuff to think about. Okay, so a um, lot more Michael Keaton Batman than I was in, which there isn't much in there. That's way more than I thought I was going to get. Um, doing the VO at the beginning, and we're seeing Wayne Manor. Um, I like the look of, of the suit. I really do. It really is reminiscent of that look in New 52 that starts with the Flashpoint Paradox, which from what we can tell seems like this is going to be a variation of that story i doubt it's going to be as world bending as the actual flashpoint paradox is but oh it was pretty good uh the suit looks good i like the vo from from keaton uh, <laughs> almost awesome like, and then it looks like we got uh two ezra millers so i'm guessing it's our flash and that world's flash I, i'm guessing um and also what we saw a quick shot of supergirl too there at the end uh, and i'm blanking on the actress's name right now um but i'm really curious because like like this this movie has the potential to like um kind of put everything on the table uh because it's a multiversal multi-timeline story it's Kind of, and again, like we're incorporating from what we know, Ben Affleck's Batman and Keaton's Batman. So that kind of has me thinking, okay, then does that mean that we can now say that all canons exist because of this multiversal thing? Because um, with the success that DC has had with its one off of Joker and now, you know, the Batman getting ready to come out, which is not connected to anything that we currently have in canon. 
Um, is this kind of their way of saying like, now we kind of have this safety net to say, oh yeah, we can make all these varying stories that maybe we want to make, but don't fit in with our current narrative. We can do these one-offs and just say, yeah, it's another universe. Cause we, cause we've seen it. We've seen a touch of that in, um, in CW's the flash at one point when Barry was, was traveling and, um, we saw little windows into the John Wesley ship flash and Ezra Miller's flash. And we saw Supergirl and the JSA and glimpses of other DC realities. And then we also had the crisis on infinite earth's crosser where Ezra Miller showed up and interacted with Grant and Gustin at one point, which was kind of a mind fuck. Um, so I think with this movie, this is kind of just their way of giving themselves a little bit of a, uh, a basis to say, look like DC is heavily, heavily reliant on their multiverse and so now they can just say hey look we want to tell this story it doesn't fit in with the narrative we're telling in the dc eu or worlds of dc and uh, so now we kind of have this re excuse to do these these one-off stories like the batman and joker um and that's kind of what when you hear the name worlds of dc which i guess is the current working name for this extended universe they've got cinematic universe they've got that does kind of make sense like yeah dc is other worlds here's you know from earth 2 and earth 653 and and whatever so i'm in, i'm into it I, i'm ready to see more i mean especially take into account like how long it took to get this movie even into production i mean they've been trying to get this movie made for five years they've been went through like a billion directors and writers so yeah, uh, I'm 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 into it. It's a, that was a good first look at what we've got so far. I'm ready to see more. All right, so if you guys like this, subscribe, hit the bell, like it, and uh, now make sure you check out my review and reaction of the Batman trailer. <laughs>